Hi, you're watching Professor Plays, and today I'm playing Factorial Rail World. Gosh, I love this game. Um, what was I doing the last time in this game? Oh, that's right. I was building a wall where the bots were. Even better. And I think that's what I was doing last time. I don't remember, actually. There's a wall there, though. And it's got lasers, and it's connecting all of that, which is water, right? with that. So that uh, looks like that's safe for now. Pollution's going somewhere. We don't know where. You know what? I should probably do the same thing. I should probably put a wall up here and a wall across there. A little a little uh, piece of land right there. There's no water. Yeah. Turn the pollution off here. Right. That's definitely land. So a wall there wall up here, and I have no idea over here. This this is probably... Well, you know, I can build a big wall, but um, pollution's not going beyond our vision right there. And we can see biters here, so I could do I could do a wall here or clear out biters. But what I should do for sure is, because I can't see what's over here, I should do a wall right there. Turn the pollution off again. There's coal there. Do I need to worry about capturing? No, I don't need to worry. There's coal here. I don't need to worry about capturing that one. So the, sh the closest wall would be, like, say, right there and then down. I should do that. Okay, let's do that. Or let's tell the bots to do it, actually. And I'll show you how I do that. I may have already done that, but I'll show you again. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, so what I will do is I will extend the the RoboPort network over to there. And the way these rails are designed, at least I hope that's the way they're designed, I think this is the correct design. It's designed so that you can power RoboPorts with the, with the uh, spacing. Now there may be some overlap here at the beginning, but but that is okay. So if we, if we get you to connect to a RoboPort uh, there, for example, in fact, I'm gonna go over here so I don't need to wait. I don't need to wait on the bots, so I can just place the robo ports myself. So let me stock up on robo ports and big electric poles. Oh, I actually have 125, that's probably plenty. And what else am I missing? Or what else would I might might I need? I don't know what I might need, but I think that's okay. There's no sense of urgency because we're not being attacked. I just want to get the blueprints down so the bots can start building before the pollution goes out of sight. And then, then I forget about it and then bad things will happen. So where am I going? I'm going up here. Um, you know what I should have done? Instead of walk all the way over there, I should have put a train down here and rode a train over there. And I have one in my pocket. Yes, I do. In fact, this is a personal station that I have here in my little rail yard for just such an emergency. So let's go over to... Oh, I want to extend the robo network, don't I? Um, where is the robo network? It goes... Oh. Huh. Okay, I don't want to ride the train. I want to extend the RoboPort network over there. Okay, change of plans. Uh, you can stay there, train. In fact, let's give you my personal train color. You can just get fueled up and stay right there. Yeah, so if this is the correct blueprint, which it may not be, but uh, these uh, big electric poles should be spaced so that they power RoboPorts. And this is not the right one. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh well. Oh well. You are not the right one. You are the right one. Maybe that... Maybe there's some weird spacing back there at the beginning. Okay, anyway, yeah, so these are spaced correctly. The... So, if, if you'll notice... Or when I reach the maximum limit of the robo port, I'm in line with that big uh, power pole. 
big electric pole. The uh, default spacing for the big electric pole is that. See that distance there? And the spacing I use on the rail pattern, rail blueprint, is this. And that's specifically so it lines up with the uh, max distance on robo ports. Like that. So that was my thinking. This one may not line up though because it's going around a corner. But anyway, we'll put it there. I don't want to walk on the track or I'll get run over. Which has happened uh, once or twice or a thousand times. Now this is not, uh, how should I say, the bots are not forced to follow along lockstep with where the roboports are. The bots, in fact, will try to fly in a straight line uh, when you tell them to go do something. See, now this is all to do something like this. Uh, so what will happen is they will go out. Uh, spacing is off again. Maybe this will work here. The bots will fly in a straight line uh, toward their goal, and they will run out of charge. And I don't know what's going on with the power spacing, but I don't care. This is fitted in there somehow. Are you powered? Yes, you are powered. How about that? Yeah, so the bots will fly in a straight line. And if they run out of power, they just slow down. They'll just get really slow. And they'll fly toward the, um, I think it's the closest roboport to them, or the, at the point where they run out of charge. I don't want to go straight up here, don't I? Yeah. And they'll fly slowly, and then they get to the roboport, they'll recharge it. But then what happens sometimes, you gotta, you got to keep an eye on them, is uh, they'll simply turn around and fly in a straight line again toward the nearest roboport, or toward their target, and they'll get stuck. They'll just, they'll just be in a never-ending loop uh, trying to get to the where you want them to go to build something and and running out of charge and then going back and recharging and trying to get to real and it is they'll just keep doing that over and over and over again okay so I want to build a wall yeah that's fine right in there okay let me grab my rubble port column so this is just the inside of the rail. It's just two robo ports with some big electric poles. I'm just going to use this to put some robo ports in here. And we'll just go across this peninsula like that. And then we can, uh, we can oops. And then we can tell the bots to build a wall. And it'll take a while, but yeah. reasonable and that looks reasonable yeah I'm looking at the mini map I want to go across here to at least the other side of this mine so now should I go should I go straight oh I don't want to go straight across that's quite far so just um, about where I am is actually pretty good isn't it yeah that's that that'll work so let's just go down with the rubble ports from here. And we don't need that top power. Like that. That should work. There's a tree in the way. 
There we go. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I do need to get power over there, but we can grab some power right here. There, that'll power up the robot ports. We can have redundant power on this loop, on this little track right here. Oh, trees in the way. Rock in the way. you. Okay, look at the map. There we go. That's good. Robo port coverage. Alright, let's get my wall blueprint. And let's have the bots start working on the wall. Wall with lasers. Wall with lasers. This one. So the bots can build out to the green, limit of the green area here. Anywhere in here they can build. So, just pick a good starting spot, and I like this little little inlet of water here. We'll use that as our starting spot, and then just oop, out of the trees, and then just line up the the medium electric poles on the end there. I could have made this blueprint stamp, I stamp, snap to grid, I suppose, uh, but I didn't. I don't always want it to snap. Sometimes I put it in weird places. It's easy enough for me to line up the ends of it. Because sometimes I'll do like things like this if I don't want it to stick over there all the way. Actually on this one I think I do though. Like that. And then on the corners I'll just copy Oop. I'll just copy a section of wall like that, and then uh, we can put a we can put a medium pole here and a few lasers in the corner like that. And we'll help the bots out a little bit here. Wall with lasers. All right. Now that is all in the build area of the bot network. Now here, sure, here's what I was talking about. So, they're trying to go in a straight line to build these things, and they're running out of charge, and they're turning around and going back, and they're running out of charge, and they turn around. And... So, they can get stuck there for, well, a very long time. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the robo network into this area uh, just to give them some charging places. So, let's go over here and do that. Let's see, do I have a train in my pocket? Yeah, or where do, let's see, where do I want to do this from? Oh yeah, I think I want to be over here, yeah. Let's go back to the base and start from there. If I have fuel, I do have fuel. Okay, let's go over here. It's going to take us all the way. It's going to take the scenic route. Because there was no place to turn around up there. All right. 
right, so I want... Actually, I could, that's what I'll do. I'll just go straight up through here with the robot network, and I think that will help a lot. So let's just go... Where's I want? I want... I don't want that. I want the robo network. This one. Robo column. Actually, I already have power, don't I? Yeah, just give me a RoboPort. Let's see how far we can stretch this. Okay, we can go to there. And there. Let's use the print, I guess. Here. You have power? Yes, you do. Power there. Trees in the way. Oh, you know what? I'm going to need some landfill. Uh, I don't think I have landfill set up anywhere. That will help uh, quite a bit, I think. But I would like to actually, I think, landfill and merge those together, those networks together up there. And do I have... Okay, and then down through here would help also. So while I'm going this way, let me put robo ports down through here. Okay, let's see how far you can stretch. Like maybe there. going this way. Don't let me forget that I'm I need to make landfill because I will forget. I'll get distracted. Something else. Squirrel and then I'll forget that I need to make landfill. Okay, so then, boom, root press, there. And where am I going? Uh, yeah, it's pretty close, pretty close. Do you have power? Yes, you do. Oop, I was standing in the way. Oh, I don't have any. Uh, maybe I was standing in the way, but I don't have any. It's hard to place them when you don't have them. Uh, let's see. So that's going to go there. And give me this blueprint. And we'll go down here. And we'll go here. And those will connect once they get built, and that will connect to that to that. See, the, now these aren't bad here. They're just, they're not getting stuck. If you would notice, like these got stuck somewhere. See how slow they are? So they were, they were headed somewhere, like these guys here, they're out of charge. Um, but they were close enough to this rubble port when they ran out of charge that they just kept going. That's not horrible when that happens. What you don't want is, and I can see an example of that now, but what you don't want is uh, where they get stuck in a loop forever. It's, their, uh, it's like they're trying to, you know, if they were trying to fly to the right, you know, they would say, out here, run out of charge, come back. Go, on, go out here, come out of charge, and run out of charge, go back. And just keep doing that. So I don't see that now. I think maybe I've got enough rubble ports scattered around. Now, obviously there's not enough because they're, they're running out of charge and they're going really slow, but but it could be worse. Okay. So the bots will build those rubble ports. Let me grab a few more if we have any, just for my personal use. House power. Ooh, 
we're going to need to expand pretty soon. Let me go down here and see if we have more stuff for expanding power. And grab some more robot ports. Copper looks okay, iron looks okay, circuits eh, looks okay, red circuits are a little weak. And we have a reactor. A reactor. Why are we not getting more reactors? Did I disable this? Oh wait, this is probably disabled here. Yeah. I connected it to the network and disabled it um, logically in the in the network. I'm gonna bump this up to two. I'll, I'll bump it up to four. Keep making those until there's four in the network. So there was some in the machine. So now there's three. And you let's bump you up to two stacks. Let's bump you up to two stacks, and let's bump you up to a row. We don't need any more of those, I don't believe. Okay, and power is... Yeah, we'll need to expand soon. Okay, robo ports. Um, landfill. I said, don't let me forget. Where do I want to build landfill? Landfill, landfill, landfill. Um, how about... Hmm, I know. Let's keep it in the base. Let's keep landfill in the base so we don't have things scattered all over the place. So stone goes down here and goes down to the store, the logistics store, and builds rail right here. Right here. So here's stone coming in to build rail. Let's do this. Let's put a machine here, and let's build a landfill, and let's give you an inserter, and an inserter, and let's put it into a chest, and we can limit the chest like that, and let's give you some power, and now we're making a landfill. Okay. Comes in handy. Alright, and I did pick up robo ports, and we have uh, electric poles, and yes, okay. Uh, the, the robots that are visible on the map, that's the button right here, in case you can't see those. That's how you turn those on and off. Okay, so that's... Um, it's actually not bad. I'm just looking for places where they're looping. Where they're stuck in a loop. They might get stuck in a loop here. If they're trying to go like that. But I think if they got far enough... Oh, that's, that one turned around. Are you looped? Are you looping? See, I think, I think once they recharge... And then go, they can make it. Yeah, probably what's happening is they're probably going from here. They're going without recharging, and then they're yeah, and then they're turning around and going back. And then once they recharge, they're able to make it across. So it's not horrible. It's not ideal, but not horrible. No radar up there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Rocket research. Excellent. What can we do? Did I put... Um, I 
recipe icons, yeah. Do we have... Okay, there's yellow, purple... Yeah. So we can... We can build our rocket silo. Okay, I should put the blueprint down for that. I don't know if you like seeing me use the blueprints, or if you'd rather see me build things from scratch. I've done it both ways. Well, obviously I made the blueprints at some point, or somebody did. I made some, somebody else made some. I, I, I don't know. I've been playing so much, and so many different games, and so many different blueprints, some that I made, some that somebody else made. I think I mentioned this blue circuit build is one that I saw. I think it was Nephrim's, uh, one of the speedrunners was using. I thought, oh, that's kind of nice. So I made a layout that looks like that. But... So here's, um, here is a rocket silo build, and let's see, where do I want to put this? Up here? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's extend our sidewalk and be consistent about our look. And, oh, I got beacons in there. I don't know. I, I would put beacons in there if I wanted to keep this base running and producing science packs. But I may just want to just do a rocket launch and go on and play another one. I don't know. So we'll just take the beacons out. We can put them back in if we want to. So there is the rocket silo. Need steel, plastic, copper. Here's plastic. Uh, it needs steel and plastic, actually. Or steel. Here is steel. Steel and plastic. Oops, one too many. Okay, why are the robots not building you? Oh, they're probably busy. I've got them busy doing other things. Which is fine. Which is fine, they'll get around to it eventually. So there's steel and plastic and copper. Science comes out. Oh, we need power. Why don't we have power? There we go. Just didn't have the pole in there yet, so that one, that one. Whoa. What happened? There we go. Battery and iron plate. Where would you hide if you were a battery? Batteries... I would hide right here, where I'm walking. Ah, there it is. No, not you, this. Yes. Down here. And iron plate. Iron plate. There.
low circuits. Low circuits. Oops, sorry. Bumped the microphone. I don't know if you heard that or not. Uh, oh, what happened? Whoa! That was weird. Got a little bit of a lag there. I don't know if I'm going to need to extend that blue circuit anymore, but let's do it like this. Just in case. Blue circuit, red and green. You are red and green. Again, I don't know, don't know if I'm going to need to extend these anymore, but we'll do it like this. Okay, that and that and that and that and that and that and that. Okay, this uh, assembler is designed to build that. That needs some blue circuits. It needs some pipe. It needs, in fact, it needs, it's picking up its own steel. It needs 200 blue. Let's see. Um, okay, 200 blue. It needs. It's getting steel. It needs 200 electric engine. Electric engine are are in a box down here. There we go. It needs it needs, it needs, it needs a thousand concrete. Concrete is down here in the nuclear store. Right there. And there just happened to be a thousand in there. And that goes in there. And now we're just waiting on steel. And I have a little bit of steel. How much do we need? A thousand steel. Which we are picking up. Is there steel? Is there somebody hoarding steel somewhere? Probably not. Yeah, that's going down the conveyor. Alright, well, it'll, it won't take long. It won't take long to finish picking up the steel that it needs. Alright, I'm too impatient. There. We'll help it. Help it along a little bit here. Steel. There we go. No, we don't need any more. You don't need all that junk. It's making our rocket silo. I took the extra stuff out of the machine. Pick it up. I don't have any construction bots, do I? Nope. Oh, well, I'll put it down here myself. There it is. Okay, and it should be building the the rocket, but it's not building the rocket. We're missing. We're missing something. What are we missing? Missing modules. Oh, it is, but it, they are running. Which modules do you need? You need efficient or productivity modules. Um, 
Am I building modules? Did I put a module build down here? I don't remember. Modules, modules. Those are used for purple science, but do I have a separate module build? Sorry for the rabbit scrolling. Yeah, right down here. Are you not running? Are you not hooked up? What's going on? What are you missing? Red circuits. Red circuits are weak. Of course. Alright, but it is kind of, sort of, slowly running. Why are you weak? You are running. You are running. Let's, um, let's upgrade. Let's upgrade these machines. Let's upgrade this belt. run any slower. And we need to research space science. Um, so you can launch a rocket without putting without putting a satellite in it, and that will technically win the game. Um, but this machine here is to build a satellite. When you put the satellite in the rocket and launch it, then you will get space science packs. You get a thousand space science packs, and those get offloaded from the rocket. So we'll put it into this chest, and then they go this way. So this is where the space science packs are returned, and then we'll send them down this way to the labs, and then we can research things that use space science. Ah, these beacons are actually have actually been placed and they have speed modules in them. So now I was talking about this before, I don't think these were in place. So when you hover over this beacon, you can see the machines that are highlighted. Those are the machines that are being influenced by that beacon. So over here on the drop down, it says um, working efficiency 0.5, or just excuse me, dis distribution efficiency 0.5, uh, and energy consumption, and then in speed. So it's, it's broadcasting the effect of the, of the speed module 3s. So now when you hover over this machine, or any one of the machines under that influence, you can see that it's been, it got a speed boost because of this beacon. So it's more efficient use of speed modules because the two speed modules that are in there are influencing all these machines. So, you know, more efficient. Okay. How are we doing on time? Oh, well, we're pretty close. So, is there any uh, any other fires I need to put out? Let me take a quick look. No, no, I don't want that. I want this. So, 
there's no power up there. Well, that's not going to be a very effective wall without power, is it? Okay, so let's see. Uh, copy you. I put you there. And that'll give us some power. We can do redundant power. Nope, not there. We can't. How about here? A little redundant power here. There we go. So when those get placed, we'll have power to the wall. This wall already has power. There is radar because we can see up there. And our pollution cloud. Yeah, so the next... Uh, this is obvious place to put a wall down here somewhere. I don't know about that coal, but... You know, maybe like here, across there, cross, cross from there, and then maybe down to this one. I'll do that off camera. You, you've seen how I do it. Um, you don't need to watch that again. Okay, all right, that's a pretty good episode. Um, kind of maybe scattered, scattered things, but, but quite a few things. So I like that. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please click that thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Take care, and we'll see you next time.